for Dream of You intro chords. My name is Robin Nolan, and in this series of videos, I'm answering your questions on playing gypsy jazz guitar. And I got a question about the chords used for the intro of Dream of You. And these are the chords we're talking about. <laughs> Dream of You is a standard which uh, is played a lot in Gypsy Jazz and it really swings, it's really cool and you should definitely check it out. Uh, Django played it and all the guys play it and it's big fun. So it starts with these chords before you get to the melody. Uh, it's in E major, you can hear. So you've got this E pedal. You've got these series of chords which come down the neck like that. And it kind of gives the intro real kind of, uh, sets it up really great. Sounds really kind of razzy and cool. So, um, these are the chords that I use on that intro. The first one is, it's just E. So it's, uh, I'll just name the names of the frets. So it's a uh, sixth fret on the D, sixth fret on the G, seventh fret on the B, seventh fret on the top E, which is just E9. You can also have the, you have the E there, the seventh fret on the, a strings off. Uh, some people bar that, uh, those two strings. Actually, most people do. For some reason, I fret them, but whichever way is most comfortable. That's the sound you want. So that's the first chord. Second chord, keep the E pedal. Then you've got a diminished shape on the fifth fret. Okay, nice and easy. Diminished shape, so fifth string, uh, fifth fret on the, the D. 6th fret on the G, 5th fret on the B, 6th fret on the top E. It's a diminished chord, but still with it. And then you slide that down again. Another diminished chord. Yeah, so, so far. It's the E9, diminished. Diminished down a fret. And then basically we've got an E major sounding chord here. The one I use. So E, second fret on a D string. That's barred on the second fret there. So you got second fret on the D string. That's the B, that's the fourth fret on the G string. Second fret, there's the bar taking care of that on the B string, second fret. And then the pinky takes the fourth fret on the top E string. And that's a, that's a, a nice E major for her voice. got to keep the pressure down there to keep that chord clean so every note sounds rings nicely so first chord E9 second chord the diminished on the fifth fret third chord diminished on the fourth fret and fourth chord E major type barring on the second fret and then this is all happening with that E pedal and then once you've got these chords nice and comfy under your fingers and there's no buzzes or rattles, then you put them into context of the music. And this kicks off the tune, so it determines the tempo and it sets up the whole mood of the song. So it's really important to make it really kind of, just really set it up nicely. So. Actually, that's what I do there as well. I play the octave E, open E, 7th fret on the A string. So I'll play it and you'll see what, how I'm using it. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the melody starts, okay? So make sure it's all ringing nicely, everything's clean. And then also don't be shy about kind of making it really swing. It's got that real big band kind of sound. So. Then you start the tune there. This also happens at the end of the tune, um, just before the ending. 
and it happens at the beginning. So it's really important part of this tune, Dream of You, and it sounds really awesome. So there you go, there's the chords. Learn them each one at a time, make sure it sounds clean, get that big pace, bass pedal going on the E, and then you're gonna have a lot of fun playing that tune, Dream of You. So there's the chords for the intro. If you've got a question about Gypsy Jazz guitar you'd like to ask me, then just send me an email, questions at gypsyjazzsecrets.com, and I'll be happy to make a video for you. And that's it. So make sure you give us a like on this video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in a video really soon.